Phil Callahan. Hey, Dutch and James, as a kid growing up in Memphis, I wanted to get your take on the night Austin Idol and Tommy Rich shaved Jerry Lawler's head. I was in the third row that night and remember the fans pushing towards the cage. Paul Heyman retreated to inside the cage for refuge and they all hauled ass through the crowd running for safety. Thank you so much for my childhood memories. Were you in Memphis at the time? No, but I heard about it. Well, I don't know what else they could have. They wanted that response. Because they wanted to anger that crowd. Excuse me. <laughs> they wanted to anger that crowd, and they did. I mean, all of a sudden, no, here's Jerry Lauder. He's like the hometown sweetheart of Memphis. All of a sudden, it was Austin Idol and Tommy Rich. Mm-hmm. Two blonde-headed guys. And Austin Idol was a good heel, and Tommy Rich was too. So uh, they shaved his head, and that's the response you wanted, and and they got it. And they drew a lot of money off that. Were you, uh, were you there for any of the later head shavings? Because didn't like Bill Dundee get his head shaved, and then his wife got his head shaved, and loads of people I got wasn't head shaved? There. I heard about that. But that was part of their drawing power too because I think when uh, Dundee's wife when she got her head shaven nobody would expect that at all say instead of your of a guy getting his head shaven the wife believed in her husband so much that she'd put her own hair up if he would just take the match. Boy, Lawler had a field day with that. He said, hell, you're ugly now. Just imagine how ugly you'd be with no hair. <laughs> uh, now he tore her up, and he said, we'll see how much love is left after you show up bald-headed in the bed. Oh, my God. And Bill lost. They shaved her head. Have you, have you ever been in a head shaving or even yes, a must, mustache shaving would have been a, a no. Good... I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have a mustache then. But I have been in a head shaving. Really? Yes. And uh, I was so green. I was doing this angle with Ted Oates in Georgia, all over the states, all over the state. You know, territories back then they didn't run over the state lines much. That was one of the it was, wasn't was written down, but it was, you know, popularly uh, believed that you didn't cross the state line mm. into another territory. <coughs> Damn. Excuse me, folks. I'm just coming off a near-death experience with a summer cold. But, uh, and I lost the match in Columbus, Georgia. It didn't quite sell out, but I never remember a sellout in Columbus, Georgia anyway. But it almost sold out. We were like, this was the first time they put us in a main event. And it almost sold out. And we were always like second match on the card. Every night. At the highest we went was third. But we burned those people out so much. I mean, you know, we were talking about kayfabe. Mm -hmm. Like uh, last Friday when we, when we did our other podcast. And I said kayfabe was dead. Kayfabe wasn't dead then. Kayfabe was alive and kicking because those people actually thought, of course, they they all thought, yeah, there's a little fakeness involved here because kids who grew up with say your prayers, take your vitamins and rest and fake. That's what they grew up with. But when me and Ted Oates got in the ring, they actually believed uh, that we were mad at each other, that we were trying to hurt each other. And after some of those matches, I had to agree with them. We were trying to hurt each other because I was hurting every match. But I was young, and it didn't it, it didn't bother me. But we had this match for the loser cuts their hair. Then I had longer hair than Ted, so when mine were cut, I got a picture of it. I'll send it to you. Oh, you yeah, I'm definitely. Sitting, I, I would be sitting there, and all of a sudden, no hair. And some young girls in the crowd, they started crying. Because I guess some young girls in the crowd would would start crying uh, if Ted got his head shaven too, because your allegiances, you know, you wanted your favorite to win, and 
you're not so favorite to lose this hair. Well, I lost and got my head shaving. Hmm. 